So we all want an agent, but we don't all need an agent. In fact, most of us don't need an agent. Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to my channel for some more videos, for some more content. Another voiceover day vlog for you guys. And I wanted to answer something that again, I've answered in multiple emails and talked to multiple people about and covered in a lot of videos. But I want to do a whole video dedicated to each one of these things so that it's easier for people to find these videos on these topics and content. We're talking about agents today. We're talking about whether or not you need one because there's a lot of people have been emailing me and asking me constantly and it's not their fault. I'm not saying that someone is doing something wrong if someone is emailing me and it's a question that I've gotten a lot or it's a question that is naive in some way. That's not a problem. What it is is that a lot of people still think that they need agents. And you don't. You don't need an agent. That's the whole, that's the skinny of it. And for those of you who keep, you know, posting timestamps or keep complaining that I'm going on too long, just get to the point, and they put his timestamp, this is when he's actually talking about the topic. There, go ahead and just, that's it. You can now leave. There you go. You don't need an agent. Bye. Um, but for those who actually want more information, let me explain. So the point of an agent is not to get you work that you can't get any other way. Now, yes, there are some clients that will only work with talent through agents or agencies. But a lot of that work is going to be SAG or is going to be bigger studios that most of you, and myself included, am, are not ready for. Now, I've done some work with larger clients and larger studios, but I don't get enough of that work, and that's not really the market that I'm in. So getting an agent and having an agent isn't really that big a deal. I would love to have voiceover agents. And, you know, I've talked to a whole bunch of people about representing me. But in all honesty, not having an agent hasn't stopped my career growth. It hasn't prevented me from getting more work and from getting larger clients and from getting paid more. Everything that an agent does is the kind of stuff that you can do. In fact, really all you're doing, once you get to a certain level in your career, you're basically delegating out certain responsibilities that you normally have as a freelance to an agent. They're not new responsibilities. They're not new things. An agent doesn't do anything any different than what you would do as a freelance artist. The only thing that they do that is different is do all that kind of stuff better and more than likely more professionally. They are better at talking to people and negotiating fair rates. They're better at, you know, staying up to date and and checking up and and looking for auditions, you know that that would apply to you. They're better at that for sure. That's their job. Like you are, do, you're better at doing voiceover and performing than they are. That's their job. So, you know, th you know that's your job. So the goal as a freelance artist is to just find work, is to just market yourself, and it's the same thing that an agent would do. The only difference is you're not splitting any amount of what you make with an agent. An agent is always going to take, it used to be, the average used to be 10, 15%. Now I think it's more like 20, 25%. I don't know if that's because the market has changed or what. I don't know. But they, they take a good portion of what you would make. However, they do get you larger work that you know, would cover, you know, that percentage. But essentially an agent doesn't do something new or doesn't do anything different. 
And if you don't know how to market yourself, you don't need an agent. If you don't know how to market yourself, then they're not going to work with you anyway. Any agent, agency that you go to is basically going to be looking for someone that is able to get the work and is able to do the work and is able to represent themselves and is able to communicate with clients. And they're just going to help you do that. If you don't know how to communicate with clients, if you don't know how to represent yourself, if you don't know how to do the marketing, you don't know how to keep up to date on your demos and, and your, your resume, then they're not going to represent you. And that's all the stuff that you would be doing as a freelance artist anyway. So a lot of you that are new to voiceover or don't know where to begin or don't know what, what websites to be on or, or still working out your studio, still working out the microphone, don't worry about an agent. Don't worry about an agent for many years, okay? It's not, it's not even really a big deal. It's not even really all that necessary. I mean, like if you're trying to get into video game, agents aren't really the kind of people that agents don't really market their talent to video games all that much. Most of what an agent, you know, what most of the kind of work that an agent finds for their voice actors is going to be commercial, is going to be, you know, radio stuff. That's the majority of what they would be looking for. And that's stuff, that's the kind of stuff that's easy for you to get on really any platform. That kind of work is out there regardless. That kind of work, there's so much of that out there, you don't need an agent. Now, it's not that you're going to be paying the agent up front. You shouldn't be. So, you know, it's free to get an agent, I guess. And if you get an agent, awesome. If you, you know, do manage to nab that, that agent, that client, but or that agent to get you clients, that doesn't mean that you're scot-free. That doesn't mean you're home safe. That doesn't mean that it's all downhill from here. It's all easy sailing. It's all smooth and no hassle. Absolutely not. Even if you get an agent, you should continue your career as if you don't have an agent. You should continue everything that you do as if there isn't someone also looking for work for you. Because if you're constantly thinking of us like, oh, someone's looking for work for me, you're actually going to be slacking, especially if you're new to this. You're going to be slacking on, you know, answering emails. You're going to be slapping, slacking on checking up on websites. So if you do get an agent, don't e leave them out of your mind. Don't think about them. Don't expect them to get you stuff. You should still be looking. You should still absolutely be looking. Nothing should change about that. You know, now, of course, it is going to change as far as where you can look and what kind of work you can do if you have an agent. Because if, if you have an if you're in California or New York and you have an agent and they want you to only work through them, like if you actually live in California or New York, they'll probably want you to only work through them as far as voiceover or they'll tell you where you can look and what sites you can't work on, there might be some guidelines. But if you're in a different state and they work in this state and they picked you up, then there's probably not going to be that much restriction. You know, they're already okay with working, you know, with you uh, only digitally and, you know, at long distance. So they're probably going to be okay with you working off various websites. You know, just, just check with them. But there's still going to be a lot of that that you are going to be able to do. There's still going to be a lot of websites and a lot of different kinds of marketing tactics and techniques that you are going to be able to do regardless of whether or not you have an agent. So you don't need an agent. Don't worry about getting one. Don't ever, you know, stress yourself out because you don't have one. Don't let it keep you up at night. Don't dedicate too much time into getting an agent because Here's another thing. The way you get an agent is by having a good resume and a good demo and possibly a good website and a good headshot. That's the same stuff you market to a client. 
It's the same stuff that you'd market to a client. So if you already got a really good resume, a really good demo, and a really good headshot and website, what do you need the agent for? You have the things you need to get the work. Like, who cares about the agent? Agents are nice, but they're not necessary, especially not now. It's so easy to get work without them. You don't need them. You absolutely do not need them. So, anyway, I hope that answers some questions. I hope that makes things a little bit easier. I hope that kind of releases some stress for some people because I know some people are worried that, you know, I don't have an agent. I'm never going to have a career. You can have a career. You can absolutely build a career without an agent. It's easy. I'm doing it. There's lots of other people that are doing it. And if you have any questions, if you need some kind of help, my email is down below in the video description. Email me, shoot me a question, and I can help you out. If we need to do coaching, we'll do coaching. Totally fine. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine. Subscribe if you're new. Bell for notifications and leave down in the comment section below. Like to see us answer any other questions. I want to just say hi. How's, how's your mother? Is she doing good? Good. Good. And until next time, peace.